Om Namaste, my dear students. Today I will explain you about bar chart or bar plot. So let's start our class for today. Look at here. A bar chart represents categorical data with rectangular bars. Each bar has a height which corresponds to the value it represents. It is useful when we want to compare a given numeric value on different categories. We can also be used with two data series. The bar can be plotted vertically or horizontally. So next one that is a bar chart. So bar chart or bar plot is basically uh, you can see the rectangular bars in our we will see in our output. The bar is their height and the height is depends on their on its own value. And this one is used to become the compare. Uh, co using this bar chart we can easily compare to we can compare different categories of the value and this bar can be vertically we can define it as a vertically or horizontally next one that is uh, the bar chart or the bar graph is very commonly used two dimensional data visualization made up a rectangular bar each for a specific category with its length represent the value of the category Additionally, we can also configure other characteristics for the chart like width of the bar, color, etc. That we can also add. Among others, the x-axis will be a range with the same quantity of item as the y-axis. Let us take a simple example where we will store the configuration we want in variables and then we and then we'll pass them to the bar function. So let's we will to one example so for this one just look at this code this is the this code is used to plot a simple bar chart this is your question basically <coughs> this um, code you have to write in your computer lab copy so i mentioned this one at here as lab your question is to plot a simple bar chart okay this one is your question and this is your out, uh, coding First, you, you have to import your mathplotlib.pyplot as we give a sh uh, short name or the uh, alias name at here or the duplicate name as a uh, at here as plt. Next, we define some variable for the bar chart. We define y axis value that is 20, 50, 30. So, a list of value we define at here and we in the y axis for y. Uh, <coughs> y level basically and next your x axis value is here we define as a range function and the range function will take the value from y length of y axis so we define len 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 function to get the value of y axis and y axis 3 value is there so len is 3 at here so range of 3 so basically x value will be selected from 3 that means we here we will see 3 bar Next, we define uh, plt bar at here. So, here we use the bar function or bar method at here. Within the parentheses, we define x axis value. That means x value, y axis value means y value. We define also their width that is 0.5 and their color orange. So, in the orange color 0.5 width, this uh, bar 3 bar will be created at here because the length of y axis is 3 and that is the range of x-axis next we define the show function so here we write pld.show to see our output so in the next space the output is here so here we can see three different bar is created first one the value is 20 50 30 so see 20 50 and 30 this bar is created with the orange color okay now look at here math so this is your output this output you have to draw in your lab copy also with this coding next matplotlib create uh, matplotlib charts can be horizontal to create a horizontal bar chart type the following code show in the practical implementation so this is basically your um, vertical next if you want to show your chart in horizontal way then the coding is here so this coding is also you have to write in your computer lab copy for horizontal plot a bar chart horizontal this is your question this is your coding part and this is your output question so here we use numpy 
as well as uh, we are also using matplotlib.py plot at here we define the object name as here that is python c plus plus java pal scale list. so we define some object name at here next we define y position y pos means the y value y value is np dot arrange we define the length of the object that is one two three four five six so total six uh, plot will be created at here we did we also define some value 10 8 6 4 2 1 and we give the variable name as performance next we define uh, bar chart at here and we here we define that is plt dot bar h h for the horizontal so that is a different in, in our previous program we define only the bar at here but here we define bar h for horizontal we define y value performance this value at here and we define align align at here that is center and color is red next we define that is plt dot y ticky y position comma object so see this y tick is basically used to define the level name with their position so here with the y position value is this one and their object name is this one so it did it this value it will be showing the y uh, y levels next we define x level name as uses and we define the title as a that is programming language uses next we use the show function at here to see our output so after that we can see this is our title this is the chart basically our output in the output this is our programming title x level name is uses that's show at here y ticky name we define as a position with their object name so different position the object name object name is coming from here this object name is showing this position and here we define an x bar chart horizontally chart is created at here and the horizontally chart color is we can see at red align the center and we define the value at here that is y pos and their performance the performance value we can see at here that is 10 8 6 4 2 1 so the first value is 10 next value is 8 next 6 4 2 1 in this way it will go okay so this thing also you have to write in your computer lab copy next another program is here in the next page that's a uh, practical implementation 16 here it say that to plot uh, the element of two list using bar chart so here we are creating two different we, we are creating the bar chart of two of two different values that's when two different bar chart will be created in the same plot so this thing also you have to write in your computer lab copy this is your question this is your coding and this is your output so first look at this coding first you have to see the coding that is your question is to plot two different list using bar chart okay import for this one this is your question part next the coding part is start from here that is import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt next you define your x value and your y value x value is 2 4 6 8 10 y value is 6 7 8 2 4 next we define another x and y value as x2 and y2 so that's mean we define one range of value at here one pair of value at here another pair of value at here that's mean two pair of value define at here next we define plt dot bar x comma y level bar s1 and another plot we create at here when the bar chart we create at here it is x2 y2 and level bars s2 as mean two bar chart it is created at here one is from x and y another one is from x to y2 we define x level name as x y level name as y we also define the title at here bar graph one new line we define at here with multi-dimensional title we define legend so legend will show the different color with this name bar s1 and s2 and we define show function so after writing this one this is look at here this is your output here x level is x y level is y at here now we define the title title is here this one bar graph new line so new line with multiple title is here legend we define at here this is one for green one another for orange this color is uh, selected by matplotlib so we can see this one 
if you want you can just compare also your x value is 2 and 6 so x value is 2 and y value is 6 so this one for x and your x to y to value is 1 7 so it's 1 and here's 7 so this is your x to y to value and this is your x y value so in this way different uh, bar chart is created for different value basically here we can see the two pair of value okay so this one also you have to write in your computer lab copy next another program is also here that's so look at this program to plot a bar chart showing the favorite movie of different set of people so basically here we're using the same thing we are name I mean same concept we are using at here but here the question is the chart with favorite movie with different set of people so don't you have to define the movie name and the number of the people who are liking this one so your question is program to plot bar chart showing the choice of um, favorite movie among the people so here we use the numpy area at here means numpy module name at here but matplotlib library we define also at here we define the object name as well as comedy action romance drama and <coughs> science fiction so SCIFI define define object name at here we define their position many y pos that variable name we define at here the value will become from this object length we define types also that is four five six and this is also a value okay as we define the value at here that is uh, one two means this seven eight two four two like this we define some value at here and define the variable name as type variable name that is depends on us we can define as types or t or p as you wish next we define plt dot bar so one bar we create at here we will create at here that is and the value will be y pos that's mean this value types means this value now we align this one as a center and color as blue now we define the color and we define x sticky that is y process object so x sticky means in x axis wise their uh, position will be shown with their object name so object name is this one here no name is defined is uh, showing at here because we are not defining any name but here we will show some name at here so that's why we define the object name at here so it's also different it is set location and the level so this level uh, object name this ob different object name it will be showing their levels and we define y level as people now define the title that is favorite type of movies and we use the show function so if you look at the output you can see the comedy action romance drama all of this level name come at here in the x axis y level we name at here that is people that we can see at here this one is coming the value is there that is four five six one four so we can see that the first one is a four five six one four in this way the value is there okay and the object name is that is also showing this position so this is their another program so i hope all of you understand our today's class om namah shivaya students